Hey everyone and welcome back to Cardinal News. This is our first full episode of the year. In this episode, we interviewed some new administrators, teachers, clubs, and electives. My name is Stefania Benzoni and I teach Italian. Well, the way I feel about teaching hybrid um, is that it's a little bit challenging because it's hard to include um, everyone in the in the lesson. The students at home, of course, um, are not as involved. So that's a challenge that I have every day. So that's definitely my my biggest struggle. Um, the class it's quieter, which is you know I guess it could be good, but for me not necessarily. I like to have more life um, during the class. So yeah, that's that's a hardest thing. As I said, yes, maybe a little bit in class management. It's it's easier, but all in all, it's you know I still rather have my class. I miss immensely teaching like normal. Um, I miss the the fun of it. I mean the the fun of it. It's it's not there. Um, I mean it's 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 okay. I'm managing, but um, having a full class um, just makes a big difference. So um, in what ways do you think being both remote and online helped benefit the classroom and do you think that being online has delayed teaching? So I think the benefit of being online and, or like having both whether online and in school is that you can spread people out and give a little distance like that's required right now but I do think there's a little bit of a balanced teach. So it's nice to have people in class because you have the face-to-face. -face. And I think for some people, being at home is good because they, they get the comfort of being home and it gives the school time to space things out and clean it. Um, I do think there's like some challenges with it. I think it takes a little bit longer sometimes to start the class and to make sure everybody's on the same page. But I do think like while the regulations are still what they are, I think it's probably the best model. And how do you feel about the setup of the school, like walking through houses and the areas? I mean, I personally think that we should do one or the other, so I think we should either go all one way or all two ways. Like, I don't really get why the glass corridor is one way while the houses are two ways. But I do think that you need some kind of system to help keep things safer. I think in an ideal world you want the flow of things to be so that people aren't like facing each other as much as possible. But I think the glass corridor is kind of like a, a major through fair so I can see why that's one line. Yeah. Do you think that um, like administration made a mistake in like the reopening of school and like if so how do you think they could have made the transition a bit easier? No I think they did a good job. I think there was a lot of guidelines from the state and the national government and I think that there was a lot of conflicting information so I think they did the best they could with a tricky situation. Like I, you know having two kids of my own I definitely see the difference having them in school. So I think like kids need to be in school, they need to see people. I just think it's a tricky thing where you're trying to balance having things be as usual and trying to keep everybody safe. So I think they did the best job that they could with what they have. Hi, I'm Kiara Mastretta, the Cantor House Assistant Dean, and I'm here to talk a little bit about SEL Block. SEL stands for Social Emotional Learning, and SEL Block is at the end of the day um, for two reasons. One, a practical reason. It allows us to stagger dismissal and make sure that we get a little bit of space between each other, which is oh so important in these times. The other reason is a little less tangible, but even more important. It lets us build community and give us some tools to deal with stress. And things are always stressful, but the past year has been even more so. And without being able to sit down and connect with our peers and our teachers in the organic way that used to happen, this SEL block gives us a little bit of time to pause, reflect, connect with each other, help build community, and get some tools to help us deal with situations that seem overwhelming or stressful. So that's a little bit about SEL block. Hello, my name is Mr. Pereira. I'm going to now take off my mask since we are socially distanced apart. Both my directors said it was safe to do so, so that way you guys can see my face. Might be the first time in ever, actually. So let me get my glasses down actually as well. So now they're not gonna get fogged up. So, you know, glasses problems with the mask. So my name is Mr. Prayer, like I said, I am the new Dean of Student Life. I am replacing um, Dr. Termini. I'm super excited to join the Greenwich High School family. I've had nothing but a great welcome here, and I look forward to, uh, to this upcoming interesting school year with everybody. So in this position, which is a very unique position, I'm actually coming over here. Uh, I was the Dean of Students at West Hill High School. 
um, and I'm looking forward to really working with the Greenwich School population, the families, all the stakeholders kind of moving such a great educational institution forward. Um, I'm big into if you know what restorative practices are. For that, um, positive interactions. My office is located in the Student Activity Center. However, I've been told that my office is probably going to be more in the halls, so you'll be able to see me floating around. Um, I'll get my I'll get my steps in, be heart healthy. But anybody, if if you need me or or anything from me, my email is in the server. So please find Mr. Pereira and be happy to meet with anybody as we're moving forward. So here's a here's a couple of Mr. Pereira fun facts. I have two dogs. Um, my girlfriend works at West Hill still. She's an English teacher, um, but they're they're all awesome. It's nice to live with an educator since we're now on the same schedule. However, the, the big difference is I was at West Hill for 14 years, so instead of making a right on Long Ridge Road, I'm making a left to go to Greenwich High School, which has been a little bit of a change for me, but it's been a great change. All right, I want, I want to thank everybody for the opportunity to get to know you in this new virtual environment. Um, I'll, it's interesting because I'll get to know you by cohort, so I'll, I'll learn the Monday, Tuesday folks, and I'll learn the Thursday, Friday folks, and I look forward to seeing you guys, um, especially during lunch. Hello Greenwich High, my name is Andrew Byrne. I'm the new Folsom House Administrator here at Greenwich High School. I'm so glad to be with you. I'd like to spend a few minutes just telling you a little bit about myself. I grew up in a small town called Stormville, New York, about an hour from here, um, and had the opportunity after high school to go to Bates College where I studied math and biology. Following Bates, I had an opportunity to teach both math and science for several years, both in independent schools and in public schools. Um, in 2000, I moved to Convent of the Sacred Heart, now Sacred Heart Greenwich, up on King Street. I worked there for about 10 years, doing a variety of things, teaching, coaching, and being an administrator. And then from there, I went to Darien Public Schools, where I served as an assistant principal. And back in 2008, I had the opportunity to come work here at Greenwich High School. It was the opportunity of a lifetime. I enjoyed it. It combined it all my loves and my passions, working in the math department and working with students 9 through 12. Um, last year, I spent a year working as the human, director, human resources director at the UN school, which was also a very cool opportunity. But when the opportunity came to come back here to Greenwich High School, I jumped at it, and I'm so happy to be here with Mr. Mayo and his team supporting all of you and helping you reach all your potential in and out of the classroom. The biggest thing for me to come back to GHS was all the students. We have an amazing student body who have diverse needs and interests, and I believe that I can certainly help uh, contribute to our amazing community. Um, Folsom House is a very special place. We have amazing teachers, amazing students, and people are committed to excellence both in and out of the classroom. So to come back and join this wonderful community was really a dream come true. There's no doubt that these are very challenging times for all of us and certainly as a community we've had to work to support one another and coming back to uh, Greenwich High School where people already are committed to helping one another makes the job a lot easier. So we're continuing to find best ways to support our students first and foremost and our faculty to ensure that they get the great quality education that you're well deserved and um, can certainly help you reach new heights in your future. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm Maddie. And I'm Liz. And we serve on the Executive Committee for YNET, short for Youth Network. We're a service and activism club at GHS dedicated to promoting healthy relationships through outreach and education initiatives. Through our partnership at the YWCA Greenwich, we train our peers to be effective advocates for others who may be experiencing domestic violence. People should join if they are passionate about this issue or would like to make a positive, even life-changing impact on members of the Grange community. In the past, we volunteered with local families, hosted informative events, and spoke in front of influential leaders in our community. YNET meets from, on Wednesdays from 5.45 to 6.15 p.m. on Google Meets. To join, DM us on Instagram at YNET Greenwich or email us at wineatgreenwichghs at gmail.com. Anyone is welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sophia. And I'm Kristen, and we are the two varsity captains of Greenwich Girls Soccer Team. Um, although our season was up in the air for a while, we're really excited to have the opportunity to play and compete this year. We've been taking the necessary precautions to keep our players safe, so we're allowed to have a season this year. 
This season, we're going to be playing four teams, Darien, New Canaan, Stanford, and West Hill, multiple times. Um, although many of our team bonding events off the field have been taken away this year, we're trying to make the most of our circumstances by building team spirit on the field. We're really grateful that we've been given a season and we won't be taking it for granted. Thank you. Hey, Grange High School. I'm Mark Chen, student body president, and I just wanted to share a quick message about this year. Firstly, I know that this year brings unprecedented challenges. I urge you all to be patient, understanding, and supportive, and to be kind above all else. Although our future is indeed uncertain, I truly hope that this is a time that can bring us closer together. It is my vision that every student, no matter where they are learning from, is fully supported and can realize their academic, artistic, musical, and athletic potential to the, full, to the fullest extent possible in the current time. Secondly, student government is here for you. We really are. And so is the administration. We had our first mass meeting this week, all virtual, and your class representatives shared engaging and thoughtful comments, suggestions, and critiques. I know for a fact that Principal Mayo was deeply appreciative to hear the student voice. And to further elevate the student voice, we will be putting a student concerns Google form up on Aspen shortly, so please be on the lookout for that. I will update you about our school and student government periodically throughout the year through these Cardinal News segments, but please reach out to me if there's anything at all that you'd like to share. I look forward to a challenging but really fulfilling school year. Thank you and stay safe. watching this episode. Also, seniors, remember to go get your parking passes on the GHS website and please everyone wear your student IDs. We're glad to see everyone back at school.